What up, Dokoners? So we got some content dropping tonight. We've got the Dokon Festival Piccolo dropping on Global and on JP in a little bit. So in today's video, we're just going to be previewing the events so you guys can be ready with your teams. I'm probably going to go live tonight. I'm going to go live a couple hours earlier than the EZA so that we can do the Ultimate Clash runs because Ultimate Clash also came out yesterday. So I want to get those 30 plus stones, but 30 plus more stones are going to be available from this one. So for me personally, I'm going to be able to earn about 66-ish stones tonight. So let's just jump in and take a look at the Piccolo EZA. For those of you who don't know, this guy is getting a big fat EZA. Not in terms of the category. Category skill doesn't really change a whole lot. Uh, if you notice here, really the only difference is the Worthy Rivals sub lead gets a full 170% treatment. I was originally hoping that they would do something more with the Namekian since Namekian is a pretty uh, lowly category compared to others. These Well, not, not so much these days, but before. I think with the advent of Piccolo, Orange Piccolo, and all these guys, a Piccolo Jr. and Orange Piccolo, like these two right here, uh, Namekians is definitely a force to be reckoned with at this point. So this is probably for the best. Because just imagine like if they do 180% or maybe, I don't know, further than that. That, that would be a little much for uh, for those two guys. So for the super attacks, I want to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to kind of just be going back and forth here. So for the super attack, raises defense, causes immense damage. Now it becomes raises defense, immense damage with a medium chance to stun. So that gives him super battle road effectiveness. So stats used to be... Uh, 100%, recovering 7%, and then seeing all attacks. Now it's become a little bit more. P plus two attack and defense plus 140, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40. When performing a super attack, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when stats is 70% or more at the start of the turn. So when you dominate, you dominate even more. Recovers 7% health whenever HP is 77% or less. So that's also good. And recovers an additional 7% if 40% or less. So basically, regen 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 oh and by the way you get to see all super attacks so it's like the first couple of turns that are really worrisome at, at which point once you've gained enough defense and momentum this guy is just going to be a regenerating machine that's that's the point so he's going to be really really good and so yeah that is a big improvement from its from his original stats here now for the active skill i don't think they changed anything fuse with kami activate when 70 percent or more health with another mechian on the team starting from turn four yeah, that has not changed at all. Okay. Then when we go here, let's check this out. So for the transformed state, this, I, I got to admit, this is one of the forms that I almost never use other than maybe the first time I got the unit. I've never chose to use the unit. I mean, why would you, right? So this guy goes from greatly raising attack to massively raising attack, causing immense damage with a high chance to stun. So everything else is the same. For the passive attack and defense plus 120 reduces damage received by 40 percent now it becomes key plus three attack and defense plus 150 plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 when supering reduces damage received stays at 40 but the difference is with all the defense you're going to be building up as the original piccolo going into this transform state this 40 percent damage reduction is going to be way more significant so the fact that this doesn't change really doesn't mean anything bad it's going to be very very good um okay so then the rest of it crit plus 10 up to 40 the more hp remaining the greater the boost i believe that stays the same yeah uh launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when hp is 77 percent or more at the start of the turn performs a critical hit 10 percent up to 40 the more hp remaining the greater the boost so without question the absolute best build that you can give this unit is maximum additional balance dodge there is no need for critical whatsoever because the more healthy you are the more crit you're going to have anyway because crit plus 40 is basically 20 critical in your hit of potential build so give him full additional and full uh balance dodge or do balance dodge if you're worried about the slot one defense early on um i wouldn't do that personally i would go full additional and then balance dodge here uh recovers 10 percent health whenever 77 percent or less recovers an additional when below 40 and foresees all attacks so i mean all of that is just way way better finally this piccolo is going to be good and with this i mean dude the namekians are back i mean at least the piccolos are back all we need are a couple good support for Namekians and it's over. Like the Namekian category just reigns supreme at that point. So uh, let me know in the comments how many copies you guys have of this unit. Uh, what's your build going to be like? I'm hoping most of you, if not all of you, will be saying additionals all the way. This is one of those very easy to decide times where team additional is the absolute best choice. So now let's take a look at the event. Standard event progression, 30 stages, one stone per stage. So you're gonna be able to earn 30 Dragonstone plus four more from these missions right here so 34 stones will be yours the category of weakness is power absorption unlike the lr uh EZA event this is the one where the category actually matters both offensively and defensively 
So power absorption is the way to go. The only resistance you have to look out for is if you are bringing int units and super units. So if you bring good guys, you will not do as much damage. And if you bring type disadvantage, well, understandably, you will not do as much damage. So um, yeah, in the end, you want to be bringing things more like STR units. Unfortunately, for the power absorption category, it's not exactly STR friendly. Let's actually take a look down here. We've got a couple options. Uh, if you're JP, you do have a little bit more. So I will be framing this primarily in terms of global JP players. For those of you watching, you do have an extra lead. Actually, you have two leads that we don't uh, in the form of the Super 17 and the Transforming Boo. So that actually uh, is going to make things a lot easier, especially the Transforming Boo. Uh, that is the, I mean, we do have that on global, but in terms of the leader skill, it's a lot stronger on the JP side because you have the 170% uh, version. But still, there are many other options to choose from. So let's just go over a few. Let me pull up my game here and uh, let's do some sample team building, shall we? Let me pull this up. Uh, so if I do this, I want to move this screen over. Best way to simulate this is to go into an Extreme Z battle event and do it on this. So let me actually turn this up. All right, so if we go to the... Oh, by the way, I do have my free-to-play team already set. Let me just show you guys. This is the free-to-play team that I have set for power absorption. Um, this is... I mean, we don't really have many options to choose from over here. So I had to make do with what we had, and this is what we got. So when we get to the final stage, I will try this. I do realize that the Android 21 here is a bit of a risk factor for two reasons. Number one, she is a super unit. Number two, she's int. And uh, yeah, she's she's very bad. So I'm hoping that her support is enough. She is a big bad boss's unit, which is just so weird. Just the weirdest combination of abilities on this character. But yeah, this is my uh, this is my free to play team. So we'll see how that goes. If I get slaughtered, I would not be surprised. But let's go over the other possible team compositions here. So again, go to the Extreme Z battle event. It's the best way to do this. Let's actually pull up the power absorption category. You see the leads that we've got, right? Android Cell Saga. You've got the Majin Buu Saga. You do have Buklo as a sub lead. You have a couple more options on the JP side with the LR Super Boo. And then, like I said, you have the STR Super 17 as well as the STR Transforming Boo. But here's a couple of teams that we can put together. So let me get rid of this. And now let's go through. Let's just start with the Android Cell Saga team. So let's just do AGL Cell. Some of the main leads you'd be looking at would be Cell. You could try 13. Uh, you could also do Exchange Boo. You could do LR Super 17 if you wanted to, if you don't have the STR one um android cell saga does work it might be a little bit you might have to scrape at the bottom of the barrel to get some of the units that are relevant after you select this guy yeah you wouldn't do as much damage but he would be a great leader skill so this guy would work um other teams you got boot tanks down here you could also do resurrected or wicked bloodline if you just forego every other unit having the power absorption category except for the main lead which would be this guy everybody else could just be very powerful str big bad boss wicked bloodlines which could be fun right so I'll just throw this guy on there. Um, other options, you've got like, you know, the Transforming Boo, Android 21. Like I said before, Bukalo. So a lot of different options. So you are not going to be in any sort of trouble if you're not if you're not containing any one of these guys that I'm about to run and show you. So for this one, let's just do Androids. So power absorption plus Androids, you get the full 200% leader skill. So you could throw on Android 13 for some support. Uh, perfect form cell for even more support. You could throw on the... Uh, uh, what's his name? Second form cell, man. Second form cell. This guy is actually great because you're going to be facing an Android Cell Saga category enemy. So he gets the 18% damage reduction. So this guy will actually do very well. Plus these big bad bosses, you know, all the different things that you would want for the unit to actually do, he will do all of that and then some. So he's going to be great for this. So we've got a bunch of cells in here. Super 17 is always good. EZA is fantastic. The damage reduction. He provides crit chance for target Goku. So a lot of different ways to assemble a good team. You could throw on the uh, Dr. Jiro Android 19 for some support. Uh, you can heal. He will not be able to recover, nullify and recover uh, any damage dealt because I believe Piccolo's supers are not key-based. Let's actually take a look. This is regular, so that's not key-based. And then the uh, yeah pre-transform, it's a physical attack. So you will not be able to absorb anything or nullify anything. So if you are bringing him, do so at your own risk. But yeah, there's your there's your team. Let's, let's do that. And then uh, let's do this. Int uh, Super 13, Fusion 13 does gain more stats per androids on the team. So if you got a full android squad, uh, that would be the way to go. Other teams you can bring, Android 13, same same thing. I'm not going to really spend too much time on that. Uh, let, let's go on to the boost side. Let's go to the boost side because if we do power absorption and Majin power, 
you will see a whole lot of booze. Now, this is probably the better way to go, I would say objectively, just because you've got a ton of regen happening at the same time. So let's run with our best leader skill. Surprisingly, it's not going to be this guy. It's actually going to be this guy because the exchange boo has the full 170% leader skill, sort of like the Piccolo, in fact. Uh, key plus four, 170% for Majin power. That is the better way to do this. While power absorption is explicitly listed on the boo tanks, you are missing 40% health. So if you do this guy, just make sure that you're running a cross section between Majin power and power absorption. Everybody in the boo team has both. So it's not much of a problem. Throw on Buklo for some support. Bring some STR units if you want. You can throw on Android 21 if you want. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. Bring in boo, boo tanks. And before you know it, you've got uh, some pretty powerful... I mean, this is all you need. You're done. You know, you're honestly done. You could throw in this guy just to give yourself a challenge. You could throw in the Fit Boo. You could bring in South Kai Absorb Boo. There you go. This team is going to wreck house. This is going to take care of all of your problems. And then the last one that I wanted to recommend, if you guys just want to have some fun, you're feeling a little adventurous, why don't you try a Wicked Bloodline team? Now, this is just a bonus team. I wouldn't consider this meta. Um, this is nothing like that. But since Meta Cooler is the only Wicked Bloodline unit in the bunch that works under power absorption, you could take a Wicked Bloodline team into here, ignoring the power absorption category, and just try to see how powerful or how far you can get with a bunch of STR Wicked Bloodline units. So this is what we're going to do. So you just throw on Prime Battle Frieza, LR Cooler, Final Form Frieza, or, well, you know, Full Power Frieza, Cooler with his support. You could bring Kuliza, you could bring Mecha Frieza, King Cold, whatever. And obviously none of these guys have any sort of category advantage, but they have type advantage, so you could try that just to be a little, uh, I don't know, adventurous. But those are some teams that I wanted to recommend for you guys. Hopefully one of them uh, works for you. There are more teams that you guys can put together, maybe a combination of some of the recommendations that I provided. Feel free to let me know your team compositions in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm going to be going live tonight to get this and the Ultimate Clash runs done. So I will see you guys there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what team you have ready for this event. Are you excited for the physical Dokkan Festival Piccolo getting his finally deserved EZA? Do you think they could have done more? Do you think that there is another build that, it sh that should be recommended instead of full additional balanced dodge? Let me know your thoughts overall in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan set of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know when I see more messed up. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.